I know for myself, I grew up uh, in South Africa, very involved in the anti-apartheid struggle. So kind of having to negotiate that idea of, you know, the Jewish people and who are they took, took a lot of work. First off, we are all descended from Adam. We are all humans and the Bible says, why was Adam, Adam created alone? Because each one of us is a world and alone. That's for every, every single human being. Um, we each have a gift that we have to give to this world. I call it our soul print. And if a person is not doing it, then Mashiach cannot come. Reality cannot be completed until every one of us does that work. Uh, the way I look at uh, Judaism actually is that it's today is that it's much more embracing of uh, the rest of humanity. It's the only tradition that doesn't proselytize. You don't have to become a Jew in order to be part of the era of redemption, in order to accomplish your purpose. Uh, what Judaism does say is that whoever the individual is, there cannot be idolatry. They cannot be subscribing to uh, a, a reality outside of outside of God. So a trinity, idols, etc. These things are are problematic in in a in a Jewish sense. But I do understand that the way Torah looks at it is that we each have our path and our purpose. Each individual has their soul print and then each nation has their quality. So for example, if you look at the story of Queen Esther, we are told that Esther found favor in the eyes of everyone who saw her. And our sages explain that to mean that, you know, the Ethiopians thought she was Ethiopian and the Indians thought she was Indian. That's Hodu and Kush, the two Indian Ethiopia, the extremities of the kingdom. Everyone thought she was one of theirs. I mean, could you imagine someone saying, she's from the Midwest, no, she's from India, no, she's from New York, she's from England. They identified with her because she had the point in her. She had all of them inside of herself. She was a collective, she was a collective soul. Each nation, what I'm bringing out from the story is that each nation has its flavor, its quality, its gift. And we have to fulfill our purpose, both as an individual and as a member of our nation. And the Jewish people have their, their purpose. Uh, which is a distinct purpose, just as the other nations have their purpose, which is distinct. Mm -hmm. So one of the analogies that um, is given is of uh, the Jewish people as being a heart, where there is the heart itself is sending blood to the other organs of the body. So too, the Torah is like this life-giving force, and the, the Jews have to be a conduit for that life force out uh, to the world, or as is sometimes said, or la goyim, a light unto the nations. Certainly not an arrogant thing, it's about being of service through who I am.